welcome we got we've got a new pup here and um pretty excited about it not exactly sure what all we're going to do with her yet as far as how we're going to structure it but uh training wise she's actually going to be for a client um and I'm hesitant right now because I really have fallen for her in the last two days. But um, we're gonna we'll, we'll fill you in with a little more information on her as we go here um, and as we kind of put our plan together. But uh, I wanted to start out. Ben just got here, um, and we've only had her for this is the second day now. Um, we drove down, picked her up in Alabama, turned around, and drove back. So today's Monday morning. We did that on. We were there on Friday, um, got back Saturday morning. So we've had it for a little more than two days. Um, but I just want to show you uh, before we get going, I'm going to, we're going to, we're going to do live with, or we're going to do our Cody go back series, but I'm going to make a couple of puppy retrieves with her. I want to show you, um, what she's doing and, and what I, and normally I'm, I'm not in a rush to do this, but, uh, I did it, um, on Sunday and I was just really pleased. And I think it's just a really nice little example of, um, what some dogs just have genetically. Um, and, and I do think she's really got it and we'll get into that a little bit more, but, um, I'm going to make one or two little puppy retrieves and then we're going to bring her in. Now I've had her out and aired her out. She, she did her bathroom. Um, she's been walking with me. She sticks pretty close. She's not, uh, she's not one to run off yet. Um, I expect it to be pretty quickly. Uh, the confidence in her, she's a little bit older than normally when I get a pup, I, they're usually eight weeks old, seven or eight weeks old. And this one's a little bit older. Um, you can see a little easily distracted with stuff, but hanging with me. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you what I, what I would do with her. <clears throat> Come on. What is that? She's very cautious and I like that. She's bold, but cautious. What is this? What is this? It's a little puppy bumper. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. Come on. Come on. I'm in no hurry to take it away. Come on. Come on, very good, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, good dog. And I love this little delivery, good. No hurry to take it away, just welcome her in, love her up. Good, good and dead, very good, very good. I'll do, I've done that, I did it twice yesterday. I want to give myself a little bit of room in case she doesn't, in case she hangs up or drifts off like she just did. I'm just gonna drift away from her. What is that? What is that? Good girl. Good girl. Da, 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 da. Come on. Come on. Good. Come on. Here, 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 here. Very good. I'm gonna reach out. You notice I don't reach to grab the bumper. I get underneath her here. She's still holding it. Good. She's got it a little sloppy. I'll put it right back in her mouth and let her hold onto it. Good. This is not something I'm taking away from her. Good, good, very good, good. But I also don't want to hold her so long, have her hold it so long that she drops it. Good, did. And now we're just starting to form a habit. That's it. I would, I would not push it any further. That was two little beautiful little retrieves. Come here. Two beautiful little retrieves. Nice little delivery. No rush. No, no um, loss of control. It was just really, really simple. Um, and that's it. Now, I'm going to not probably do that for some time. Um, we've done it two days in a row now. We did two retrieves. Two days in a row. Got nice little success. We've got other stuff we can work on. Um, now we're going to go feed her actually this morning and we're going to, Ben, Ben's going to film that right away. Come here, come here, come here. But really excited about introducing this little pup to you guys and some of the stuff that we're going to be doing um, and how we're going to do it. And I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do it from like a filming standpoint, but um, had a lot of people ask, can you do something like a live with Spry? Come here. And I think it's going to be a real good chance. And what I like about the idea is it'll be totally different. This dog's totally different um, than, than Spry was. So we will uh, we'll figure that part out, but we want to introduce you. We don't even have a name for her yet. So, um, but we'll get her, get her inside, we'll feed her, and then we'll go back with our Cody Go, Cody Go Back series, and we're off and running here this week, so good girl. All right, we're gonna show you, we just made a couple of puppy retrieves with her. Um, she doesn't even have a name yet, so um, we are going to feed her here. It's a little after seven. Um, her routine is gonna be twice a day. She's gonna eat in the morning, she's gonna eat at night. 
just like all of our other dogs. She'll probably eat last. We've got lots of dogs in here, um, so there will be some distractions. I may have to close these kennels up um, just so she doesn't go fool around with the other dogs, but um, we're watching another dog. We've got Arrow in yet, so we've got plenty of, of dogs, way more than what we're used to. Um, but I'm gonna put her down, and what she doesn't understand our feeding routine yet at all. Um, this will be something that it won't take her long, but for the first couple days, for the first couple days, to be honest with you, I just want to get her settled in, and that's been a kind of our goal. So I'm gonna let her know I've soaked that food. Uh, that's why it's so swollen up. I soaked it with water, gave her a chance to uh, get her wa get get a drink while she's eating. Um, it's gonna be real simple. The routine will be a little bit different normally. I'll go get the food. She'll hear this whole process. This is, I got that food ready 20 minutes ago. So, but I'm just getting her, I mean, she's very settled in. Um, her heartbeat is maybe a little bit faster than normal, but not much. She's a pretty calm little dog. Um, I'm gonna just gonna touch her to the ground. And I just wanna have her pause for just a second. Good, good. Okay, okay, okay. You see she doesn't, what do you mean okay? Come on, come on. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go, very good. And then she realizes, oh, I can go eat. Um, one of the things with her, so the routine of this whole thing, she just doesn't understand what it is yet. And it's, and it's not like flipping a switch with her to understand, um, I'm, what I'm supposed to do and then I get a reward of eating. She's going to start to understand that probably very quickly. Um, one of the things that I, we're trying, so in the meantime what we're working on is I do want her settling down. Um, I don't want her fussing, which she hasn't fussed. I want her to understand she's got a window of time to eat and it's a set amount of time. And so that's why I closed the kennel doors because I think she would have ran in there and she'd have played with those dogs just like she's trying to do right now. So she's gonna have this set amount of time to eat and after that we put the food away. Um, she's been on a pretty good routine I think where she was eating at the kennel um, because she does eat and f usually finishes the bowl. Uh, the last, we've only fed her four, maybe four times now and the times we did, I had to regroup her, um, call her back over, tell her, come on, you gotta finish your food. So I gave her a chance. Um, it's if she gets to the point where she's real distracted and basically checked out of the food, that's when I'll pick it up. Um, but you can see, she's, she's going right to it. Now she gets a little bit, she takes a break, she eats a little bit, she takes a break, she eats a little bit, goes back, that's fine. I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. I don't need them rushing, rushing. My dogs eat really fast. Um, I don't need them to eat super fast, but I can't have her, break away for too long and you know come on come on little pup so this is perfect she'll she'll go check out stuff come on and then we get her back and she's got to eat and so one of the things that we could do if this became an issue where she would decide she would just couldn't focus and wanted to run all over i'd just get that little i'd get that little uh puppy wall puppy partition and close this off so she only has this room to investigate in. But this is a little bit unfair. There's a lot of distractions with dogs and all sorts of stuff. But uh, there's little, little, little things about each dog that's different. I've noticed her, she likes to get a couple, but hey, 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 hey. That's enough. And that's spry that's in there growling. That's, that's enough. Come on, come on, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. And so Spry will watch. When, if Spry's gonna act like that, Spry's gonna watch other dogs eat. Um, we're nice, don't, we just don't tolerate it. So, but we're gonna let her um, finish her bowl here. And it's, that's just, that's not Spry trying to be mean, that's just Spry trying to be a little protective of her, of her world and we're not gonna allow it. So, um, but for her, we'll let her eat. Uh, then we'll put her up. One of the things about her is, ah, 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 ah. baby cries, she gets excited. Come on, good, that's it. Very good, very good. Um, one of the things about her is she likes to eat a little bit and then 
go away. Come back, eat a little bit, go away. Get a mouthful, go away. That's just something that she does. I've had other dogs that just wolf it all down. Um, and then I've and then one of the things about her that's real interesting too is she really and I'd like to change this is she really holds on to go to the bathroom, um, which is good in the house and in the kennel or crate, but outside, I'd like her to speed up a little bit, hurry up a little bit. Um, come on, come on. And one of the things I've noticed with her is she she takes quite a while. You gotta walk her quite a bit. Um, so I just slip a little collar, a little uh, slip collar on her, walk her around, give her enough time. When she goes, I tell her to hurry up. So I'm gonna start connecting this sound of hurry up, this command of hurry up with the action of going to the bathroom. And so I don't say it until she's going. So I gotta really pay attention with her because I get, um, it takes a while. Um, both number one and number two take a while for her. So that's just something that, that's just her style. Um, what I wanna do is time it out with my hurry up command um, while she's doing it and then hopefully we can speed that up a little bit and start to trigger it with a little bit of a hurry up command. Come on, come on. So you can see she's eating quite a bit. She's in good shape. Um, it's a real pretty little dog. Good. But you see how she takes a couple bites and goes and does something else. Takes a couple bites. Now I'm okay with that as long as it doesn't get too distracted and the time doesn't go too long. If it goes too long, I'll pick the food up and put her back in the kennel. And then she's just gonna learn she's got a window of time to eat. And that window of time isn't forever. Good. Good, come on, come on, clean it up, come on. Good. And then that's it. So we got two, it's not even 7.30 and we've got two nice little lessons with this puppy. Three really, if you look at the idea of getting her up. She was up early this morning. She was up about 4.30. Um, she beat the rest of the dogs up. So we got her out, let her go to the bathroom, put her back in the kennel. Um, then I started working the other dogs. Got my other dogs worked this morning. Now we're gonna do Cody. And now we've got a couple little puppy retrieves with her. And we got her fed. And so we've got a lot done in a little bit of time um, and it didn't take a lot. Very good. That's it. Good girl.